Hello friends, this is Yancey. Now, I got Hobgoblin Mischief all up on my Yancey land from part 2.5 golf course and such. And I've kind of let it go. It's been happening over the past four nights, what they've been doing. This is the uh, relaxing area at the turn on my course and such. And first they started off, I had this little chair here. And they shat on, shat, see I'm not, that's a fair word to, to use and such, right? Look at that. All over this chair, I can't scrub it off. Then they come along, and first started over here. They take one of my beautiful roses and whatnot, you know, and shake it till the petals fall off. They did this one two nights in a row. After the they shat on my chair, then this morning they done this one, and that's kind of sad. You know, they come along like and shake it, make all the leaves come off. So I put up this little thing to kind of spook them out. It's a rubber cat. What do they do? They shiz at. Now how goblins? As we all know, you know, they, they, they're into mischief. They play little games with you and whatnot. Not really, you know, gonna grab you and abduct you and go all up in there and look around and all that stuff we don't want to talk about. So, I got a new move here to try to, to try to smooth it over with these guys because they're not going anywhere. And so, I'm going to put out some offerings. I got me... Some of these right here. Whoa, whoa. It's Irish cream. Now, I, I went Irish because I do believe that the hobgoblins are in the line, line, lineage of the leprechaun, which was the original mischievous small man. So, just to kind of show them that you know I'm hip to their games I'm gonna put one of these at the base of both rose plants put one right there we got one down here and this other big one and then right here in the middle just to show them I got a sense of humor because you know I'm hoping I can get along with these guys. Maybe you know, we can start a dialogue, have a round table, and, you know, try to solve the hobgoblin problem that is affecting all of us. So, got one more creamer, and I got this right here. That is a little fake plastic tree. I'm going to put that in the ground right there. Come on now. Come on. Okay, so, look at that. Hobgoblin is going to be about, you know, 12 to 20 inches tall. So that's about, they're going to look down at it like that. You know, they're going to see Irish creamer, Irish creamer, little trees spook them out, Irish creamer up in that rose bush. And hopefully those will protect them. And, and, and you know, the hobgoblins, they're rather sophisticated. They're rather sophisticated and they have a sense of humor, and I hope they will understand I'm trying to communicate with them. And and maybe we can sit down and talk this out. Okay, I'm going to run some thermal cams and whatnot and see what we get. But this is all an effort to understand the hobgoblin as, a, as a, another living creature on this planet. And to open up a dialogue. That's all we really want. You know, let's talk it through. I mean, I can't deal with all this. You know, so I'm playing along. Wish me luck. We'll run some thermals. I'll be back. My name is Yancey. I'm up on the YouTube, WGT, uh, Googlers and blogs and the underwebs and all that. All right, then.